Now let's learn how to add a piece of text in this document. So let me close this for now. And inside of VS Code, what we're going to do is a bunch of things in between the creation of document as well as the saving of document, right? So we create the document, we do some stuff in between, and then we save. So in here, let's go ahead and have a variable that will hold the name, phone number, and email. So let's go ahead and create a variable, simply say name equals to Nelson. And let's also have phone underscore and then number equals two. And this will be just zero, zero, zero for now, right? And finally, let's have email equals two and then hello at amigosco.com. So what we're going to do is take these three variables and then add them to our document or CV. So to do that, we need to say, so in here, we need to say document dot and then add and then paragraph just like this. And in here, what I'm going to do is press enter. So this is on a new line. And what I have to do is pass the name. So let's simply say for now, hello, I just want you to see that if I run this, you can see that worked. Let me just close this and then open up the document. You can see that we have hello right here. So let me just zoom this. There we go. So we have hello. So what we want is the actual name, phone number and email. So what we're going to do is remove this string right here. And we're going to say name. And then plus and then quotes. And in between, let's add this pipe plus and then phone number. The same pipe. And let me just put this a bit smaller so it fits everything under one line, just like that. And then another pipe in here. And then finally, email. Cool. So that's everything that we have to do. So if I run the program, and it's complaining because uh, I've missed the plus sign. So here we need to concatenate this as well. And there you have it. So now if I run it, you can see that it works. And if I close it, open up the document. And you can see that we have Nelson right here, zero, zero, and then a low amigos code. So what I want really is to take this name, phone number and email coming from the console as an input and you've seen it before. So what we're going to do is instead of Nelson, I'm going to say input. And then here, what is your and then name question mark and then add a space, we're going to do the same for phone number. So I'm just going to grab this command C, paste that in, and the same for email. But instead of name, I'm going to say phone number. And then what is your email? Now, if I run the program, check this out. So at the bottom, we can add our name. So here, I'm going to say, for example, Eba, and then phone number is zero, three, just a random phone number. And then email will be Eba at and then gmail.com. Enter. And now if I open up the CV, there we go, you can see that we have Eba and then the phone number. So let me just zoom it so you can see everything properly. There we go. So Eba 033, this is the random phone number, and then the actual email. So there you have it, you now know how to take input and then store that in a document. So this is just the beginning of your CV. But by the end of this section will look super amazing. 
Next, let's add a profile picture. 